What's going on everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today's video is on this a &F drum company, Maple Club 3P Shell Pack and Maple Club Snare Drum. Let's have some fun. If you've watched any of my videos before about drum kits, when you sit behind a kit, you definitely get a feeling before you even touch the drums. You get vibe and inspiration. And a &F drums give you so much inspiration just because of the way they look and then their sound is awesome. We're gonna get to that in just a second, but check out how these drums look. The vintage vibe is just all over these drums. The a &F hardware, the Chandler blue finish on these drums, the patinaed hardware, Boy, they really just hit the mark, hit the nail on the head, making these drums. And the best part about them is that they sound amazing. So before I get into any details about the construction and all that kind of stuff, let's hear these drums on their own with no music in the background. Here we go, the snare wire's off. I'm gonna start with the toms. You get a 12 inch rack tom and a 16 inch floor tom. Here we go. Beautiful, warm, musical tone. That's because the shells are made out of seven thin plies of maple and poplar wood. Now, maple and poplar are both really old school drum woods. They've been making drums out of these woods for, gosh, as long as they've been making drums. So it just has a great musical tone that goes, it harkens back to the old days, definitely post-war era drums that were hand built, just like these drums are. Now, I'm gonna turn the snare wires on and do the same thing with the toms. Here we go. Again, really killer tone, and there's no reinforcement rings in these drum shells. Let's get on to this kick drum. You'll notice there's no hole in the kick drum. The drum is completely wide open, no dampening at all. There is a Power Stroke 3 head on the front, clear, and there's a coated head on the front. Now, the big a &F badge that you see on the front has a leather patch underneath the badge. That acts as sort of a dampener, so it definitely gives you help with the tone of the drum. Here's how the drum sounds with the snare wires off. huge. From the drummer's perspective, it's huge. And out front, it's really pushing low end. We put the snare wires on and do the same thing. Man, it is just fat. And I love how it sounds with the snare wires buzzing in the background. You can really bury the beater into the head if you want, or if you wanna just hit the, hit the head and have the beater bounce back, it's equally comfortable playing that way. Now the drums are a three-piece shell pack. You get the rack tom, the floor tom, and the kick drum. You don't get the snare with the three-piece shell pack, but they make a matching snare 
in the same exact color, along with a ton of other really great snares. You don't have to buy this one if you don't want to, but if you want to have it the same look, you can get a Maple Club snare, and that's why I want to talk about it in this video. The only difference with the snare as compared to the drums is that it's seven plies of maple and teak instead of maple and poplar. And that's really cool. It gives you snap, bite, bark, all of those things. So let me play the drum with the snare wires off first, and then we'll put them on. So here we go. What a huge sound this drum has. It's definitely sensitive. If you want to play it quietly, you can, but it has a big, fat, wide open, barky sound. Definitely a lot of volume. The single flanged hoop gives you a great rim shot sound. The tone of the drum definitely stays in the sound as you turn the snare wires on, so you definitely hear the shell as you're playing the drum. It's really cool. Let's hear what the side stick sound sounds like. Here we go. Nice and precise and definitely enough volume on the side stick. Now, like I do with any drum kit I demonstrate here at Sweetwater, I always recommend changing up drum heads. Right now, you have single ply, sort of ambassador style drum heads on the kit. They're made by Remo, so a nice single ply head. But I would encourage you to check out different heads. You know, maybe you're an Aquarian guy or a Evans guy. All those heads would sound great on this kit. Two ply heads, Super 2s, you know, uh, G2s, anything like that. Try it out and see how it sounds on a kit like this, with the vintage style shells and the vintage style hoops. You might love what you hear. Okay, now let me get into some of the details about the drums now. I told you a second ago that the drums are seven plies. The toms and the kick drum are maple and poplar. The snare drum is maple and teak, but they're all are seven plies thick and they all have this nice rounded bearing edge on the shells. You get these single flanged hoops on all the drums and these killer little claw hooks that are holding on the hoops on the rack, floor, and snare drum. Everything you see on an a and drum kit is hand-built in their factory down in Austin, Texas. All the hardware, the double-sided lugs with the tubes on either side, the claw hooks on the, the rack toms, the claw hooks on the kick drum hoops, all hand-built, and they're hand-patinaed down there as well. So, you know, they put these claw hooks into a, like a, a wash to give it that patina. So everyone is gonna be slightly the same and slightly different. That's what makes it so cool. You know, they're not exactly perfect all the way around as far as the look is concerned. And that's what makes them special. Now I want to show you something really quick on one of these claw hooks on the tom. I got my trusty a and drum key here that is also patinaed to kind of match the whole vibe of the kit. A couple turns. And that's what's holding your rim on. It is just a neat design. It's so easy to, to change heads, to take these off, and they don't get in the way. Sometimes I find, like with wood hoops and other things that have claw hooks over the rims, it's a little bit harder to play, in my opinion. You know, I sort of like the old, you know, kind of regular way of tension rods going into, into lugs, but this is totally, never gets in the way at all, and I just dig the way it looks and the design of it all. While I'm here, I'm gonna take off a claw hook off this kick drum hoop and show you, this, show you that as well, because I think it's just cool and worth seeing. Again, comes off really easy. Let's take the tension rod out. And it's all about the patina. And depending on which ANF kit you get, I mean, it looks great on this wood hoop. Look at how beautiful this hoop on this drum is. And it goes really great with the Chandler blue finish. But the patina is what makes it special. It really stands out and just, man, it looks like these drums have been sitting around in someone's garage getting weathered for all these years, but this is a totally brand new piece of gear. That's pretty cool. A few more things to mention. Let's check out the badges and the vent holes. Every vent hole, every badge, and also every lug has a leather 
washer underneath it. This just adds to the visual feature. It's really cool. It's different than other drums. And I just think it's neat. And lastly, what I want to mention is the kick drum spurs. Now, again, if you watch my drum videos, I'm a stickler on good kick drum spurs. I just, you know, you want your drum to stay in place and not move. And a good spur makes for a good kick drum, in my opinion. Now, the a &F drums here have old school kick drum spurs, just like the rest of the drums. It just kind of goes back and harkens to the old vintage vibe. Underneath the kick drum is where the spurs are. They're kind of L hooks. They go right into the ground. They're very easy to install. I mean, it takes no time at all. You can raise your kick drum up a little bit or down if you like it flat or if you like a little bit of an angle and the drum never moves and you don't have the typical spurs that are going out from the side of the drum. Again, neat, old school, vintage vibe and feature. The hardware on the snare drum is pretty much the same as the drums themselves, but the throw off and strainer is pretty cool and really unique and again, old school. Let me show it to you. In today's modern age, the throw off and strainers could be really elaborate and really cool for sure. But this one is super simple and works. It just works. Snare wires off, snare wires on. Pretty simple. And you have strings holding on the snare wires. To adjust the tension, there's a knob right here. Just turn it. It's notched on the inside, so every quarter of a turn or thereabouts, it's going to stop for you. You get the snare wire tension where you want it. And again, it's held on by strings rather than like a plastic strap. One other cool thing to show while I'm here is that the hoop on the bottom of the drum has two holes that the strings go through. So they thought of all these little tiny things. I just think it looks really neat and I'd like to point it out to you. It's all about the drum sound. Now let's play these drums all together before I say goodbye in this video. Here we go. Let me encourage you to check out the text below this video. I have a lot of other really great gear here. I have some beautiful a &F Drum Company hardware here. They're great flat base hardware. It is awesome stuff. Sabian cymbals, uh, some biodynamic microphones, the Apollos over here, Pro Tools, the keyboard that Jacob was playing when he was jamming with me earlier in the video. Lots of great stuff, so check it out if you want in the links below. And there we go, everybody. The a &F Drum Company Maple Club three-piece shell pack in this fantastic Chandler blue finish, beautiful drums, matching snare drum if you want to get the matching snare drum, killer drums, so much fun to play. I highly encourage you to check them out. If you want any more information about these drums, these a &F drums, or any other a &F product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, and thanks so much for watching. Yeah! Thanks for joining me today, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.